Welcome to Catch and Go. It's a blessing to come to you and to deliver the word of the Lord. We're not going to waste any time and we're going to go into part two of the title called God's Prophecy, February 23rd, 2023. Remember the title is called World Economy Collapse. We gave you PowerPoint and I went on to explain that on March 5th, 2023, the Lord spoke in three different ways, three different times. On March 5th, 2023, at 11.45 a.m., 1.21 p.m., and at 2.45 p.m., and we're going to deliver to you part two of this title called World Economy Collapse. Simply write down 401k. Write down safe deposit. Then the third thing that I want you to write is insurance security. Then for the letter A, I want you to write down the following words. Why not in the bank's hinge? Then you write the letter B. For letter B, you're going to write not in your home. For the letter C, you're going to write violence on the earth. For the letter D, you're going to write the level of desperation on the earth. Then for PowerPoint number four, which I gave you the first three PowerPoints, which I told you to write 401k, I told you to write safe deposit, I had you to write down PowerPoint number three, which was insurance security, PowerPoint number four, the trap in the globalist, PowerPoint number five, the Abraham Accord, PowerPoint number six is the bricks, PowerPoint number seven, what's in your hand, PowerPoint number eight, authority, PowerPoint number nine, one world military, PowerPoint number 10, world banks and world powers, and PowerPoint number 11, register in heaven. You see, on February 23rd, 2023, God's prophecy, this title called World Economy Collapse. I want you to understand that the grace of God spoke to us February 23rd, 2023, and the grace of God also on March 5th spoke to us at 11.45 a.m. Not only at 11.45, 1.21 p.m., but also at 2.45 p.m. In, in the telecast, in part one of World Economy Collapse, the Lord went on to explain and remind us and speak and release that we needed to begin to remove and take out our 401k, and not only that, but our safe deposit. In this part two, we will explain, one, why not in the bank's hands, two, not in your home. Three, violence on the earth. And four, the level of desperation on the earth. Let us begin to explain to you some of the things that took place. Not only at 1145, 121, and 245, and we're not going to waste any time. Why, what, why must we make sure that we don't allow the banks to have total control of our assets or what's in our bank account. Very simple. The reason why is because everything is simply going to collapse. And world banks are concerned. There is a race. And they're running in such a, a way that they're so desperate to want to try and figure this thing out. And they're offering you something that I simply see it's a snare and a trap, and I will get to that point. Another thing is that when you pull out some of your assets, or most of your assets, you're going to have to remember that one of the places that more than likely you don't want to keep your uh, wealth or whatever you take out, you want to make sure that you don't keep it in your home. And the reason is, is because as I said, violence will pick up on the earth. Violence has been picking up. And what you need to also understand is this, that there's going to be a moment there when people will begin to break into people's home. 
Another thing is not only violence in the nations, rumors of war, war breaking out not only in the Indo, in the South China Sea, but war practically breaking out. And you see that what's lining up also is a thing called the Ten Kings, which they call, some call the BRICS. And what I want you to understand is this, that the coming global collapse is one like never seen before in the world. It will cause tremendous level of, of chaos and confusion, desperation. People going not only into a whole different level in the sense that they're going to be totally confused. Not only confusion on the earth like never seen before. But the Lord reminded me in which we did a title back then from 2 Chronicles 15. When the Lord was behind that whole turmoil brought chaos and confusion and the Lord was the one that woke up those people at that time in 2 Chronicles 15. Now, in this title, part two, world economy collapse. There is the snare, there is a trap. I will say it again. There is a snare and there's a trap. And you need to be extremely careful because one of the things that the Lord said, make sure that you don't compromise. And there is a reason. And there is purpose why God just said that. The reason is that so many are in a place of complacency. So many are in a place where they're so relaxed and in this comfort zone. But I said that the comfort zone will not only kill you, but there is nothing in the comfort zone. You're in a place of comfort a place of complacency, you're sitting back all relaxed. You probably have said to yourself, never mind this collapse, thinking that you, you have everything in total control because basically you don't realize that this collapse, it's a collapse that brings about the greatest confusion, the greatest chaos, and the thing called the revolution, a digital currency, no reversal, there is going to be an establishment of a new world order in the grace of God said, wrapping things up in part one. And that wrapping up was, the Lord said was coming sooner than you can blink. Is that the Lord said, the gathering of saints. And the Lord said to me, the fig tree. Then he said to me, the wheat in the tears. Listen to what the Lord just said. He said, the fig tree, then the Lord said to me, the wheat in the tips. And the Lord just said to me, one cluster of grapes. And remember, I got a telecast that I'm going to do concerning the vision of the cluster grapes. Now, why not in the bank's hands? And I've already explained to you, because the bank is going to come out and practically are getting ready to tell not only all of civilization and not only all of civilization, but every single human being that lives and breathes on the face of the earth, especially those that got millions in the banks, those that have stocks in bonds and shares, also those that got a 401k, those that got things put away in a safe deposit. You see the banks, is going to say that they got this new insurance policy. It become like your security blanket that they will make sure that they will secure all of your assets and that it will be written down in some type of insurance policy. But that is the biggest snare and the biggest trap because the globalists have every intention. And it's a, a deliberate, intended thing that they, they want you to get into a place that you not only believe in what, what world banks are saying to you, but also to, for you to go ahead and feel that everything is going to be all right. And the, they practically want you to go into a place where I just said that the comfort zone literally will destroy you. There is no substance, no revelation. And then what you have here is that it's a little bit too late. 
because you trusted the bank, you trusted the world banks, you trusted not only the bank where you bank and where all your wealth is, but the grace of God said that it's a snare and a trap. And God basically made it very clear that you need to begin to pull out most of your assets, most of your wealth, and understand that Wall Street will crash, the stock market will come crumbling down like the walls of Jericho, and there's going to be a sound of the blast of the trumpet from 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50 to 52, there is Hosea 6, 1, 3. There is Revelation chapter 4. Decide, come up, the grace of God saying, there is coming a shout and a liberation, but not until the collapse first. You see, in this collapse, in this part two, a world economy collapse, the grace of God, over and over had me to make sure that I explained to you why not, why not in the bank's hands. And then the Lord began to speak to me that when you, begin, when you begin to pull out your assets, you got to make sure that you don't keep your wealth and your assets in your home. Because I said, one of the things that's going to break out is not only desperation, but violence people breaking in into people's home out of not only a survival mentality, wanting to survive, having nothing left whatsoever because their assets and their wealth has been completely wiped out. Another thing that I want to talk about is the trap of the globalist. It's not only a trap by the globalist, but you need to be careful not only to go ahead and be convinced convinced in your mind and in your heart concerning what Janet Yellen is saying that the banks and not only the banks but the Federal Reserve will not only make sure that they protect your assets but remember she's part of the left she's part of the globalist she's part of every single thing that you see that is shaping up for in this new world order so if I was you you put your trust in God not only your trust in God, but make sure that you understand that God spoke March 5th, 2023 at 11.45 a.m. He said, be frugal for the crash is coming. Then at 1.21 p.m., the Lord also spoke. And then he spoke a third time at 2.45 p.m. Now, another thing that I want to talk to you about is that you got the bridge and you got the Abraham Accord. And what I want you to know and want to uh, for you to understand that when you look at this whole thing, many believe that the bricks are the ten kings. And many believe that these are two different camps. Not only the bricks, but then those that are part of the Abraham Accord. And what I want you to understand that those that are part of the Abraham Accord are more than likely the ones that give orders to the ten kings, which more than likely many are saying are the bricks and the leaders that represent the bricks. Because when you look at the Abraham Accord, when you look at what God's been saying, that what's coming also is the Abraham Accord Peace Treaty. Remember, it's a Roman Empire that will be established in a new world order in America is also ones that plays a key role behind enforcing the mark of the beast. Another thing is that you need to understand. You need to look at your hands and you need to ask yourself what's in your hands and understand that not only the Lord has richly blessed your hand, richly blessed you, richly bless your loved one, but the Lord has not only instilled in you, amen, supernaturally, supernatural divine weapons that uh, for you to understand that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but mighty pulling down stronghold. But you need to understand what's in your head. Remember back in the Old Testament, the Lord said to Moses, Moses, what's in your hand? Because the very thing that Moses had in his hand was the very thing that God was going to allow Moses to use to split open 
the Red Sea and they were going to cross over and they were going to graduate from coming out of the wilderness and crossing over into the promised land. Remember, the Lord challenged Moses and not only challenged Moses as Pharaoh in them, not only with their horses and trying to chase down and run down Moses and the Israelite, but the Lord had everything planned perfectly. But in this third and final crossover, the grace of God said, is it a moment, Moses moment? Is it a David's moment? Or is it the days of Elijah? Because on February 16th, the grace of God, about three in the morning or four in the morning, the Lord opened up my spirit. But before he did, he said to me, the days of Elijah, then the Lord opened up my spirit, popped my ear open and said, can you hear the sound of that song? Can you hear the lyrics? And the Lord said to me, in these are the days of Elijah. Remember that song, the days of Elijah? We are reaching the point of a major confrontation that will bring a transfiguration, a revolution, and the grace of God revolutionizing everything, and the grace of God raising up pillars, pillars in the making. But then at some point, the Lord sends a rushing wind like the day of Pentecost. It's a whirlwind, and the rapture will take place because the Spirit of God has been talking about first fruit and the harvest of soul. But in part two of God's prophecy, February 23rd, 2023, world economy collapse, one of the things that you need to understand, there is the bricks, there is the Abraham Accord. Now God wants you to understand, and this is a PowerPoint I want to talk about, and I did part one of this title called Authority. The Lord has not only not only blessed you and richly blessed you, but as I said a few minutes ago, that the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but mighty pulling down stronghold, casting down every imagination. You need to exercise faith. You need to activate your faith. You need to make sure that faith is in place with faith and that you abide in him so that he can abide in you. As you draw near to him, the Bible says, the more you draw near to him, the more he draws near to you. And understanding that the grace of God has been saying the dispensation, the Olivet Discourse, and God wrapping things up and then opening up more and more Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 and 4. But remember I said, then what follows is catastrophic events, global events, things like you've never seen before. What's coming is one of the things that you can never imagine or would imagine that would take place. And that is a financial total world economy collapse, a global collapse. And they will be running, trying to figure this thing out. And as I said, that one of my PowerPoint was this. Why not in the bank's hands? And I went to explain very clear and very precise that if you begin to trust and believe in what the banks are saying, if you begin to trust and believe in the Federal Reserve and what also Janet Yellen is saying, I got news for you. Not only they not only score a trump card on you, they've had the better move when it comes to a game called chess. But what I want to say to you, the very thing that the banks are offering you, it's exactly what the globalists and the left are hoping and believing that you cave in, that you not only cave in, but they see you with a cave in mentality and you give in because you're in a place of a comfort zone and you can't discern the time and the season and you can't seem to get any revelation whatsoever from the throne and the throne room when God is speaking very clear that the time of dispensation, the time of the church age, age the time of the dark age, and the time when the world in which we call today earth is coming to a closure. The departure, the rapture, the graves popping open, and the saints going up in glory. Let me give you the PowerPoints to this February 23, 
2023 God's prophecy part two world economy collapse one 401k two safe deposit three insurance security then I said to you write down letter a why why not in the bank's hands two not in your home I explained that you need to find somewhere to keep your wealth or find a place that it's only that only you your, and your loved ones and your wife and your children know no one else outside that home should know where you're going to keep or store up your wealth or where, what you're going to do with your assets now remember another thing that i said that the level of desperation on the earth is what causes people out of survival to break into people's home and the lord just said to me my goodness the lord said to me these words write this down the lord said remember that i've been telling you that you need to know what your next door neighbor is doing lately and you need to understand that when it comes to a moment of a global total collapse around the world where everything collapses the financial markets the stock markets even your neighbor is looking how to cross over your backyard, climb over, and break into your home. And that is the level of desperation that we're going to go into. Another thing that I said, that I talked about, was a trap in the globalist. And I've already explained to you, and I don't want to keep repeating myself. I have said over and over that you need to understand, and you need to get this in in your head, and in your heart, in your soul, and in your spirit. But God has made it very clear that there is no reversal whatsoever but the establishment of a new world order. Another thing that I want to say to you is that one of my PowerPoints is one world military. And you need to remember my dream and the dream that I had. I believe it was back in 2006 where the Lord took me into this dream and showed me, show me men. They had military uniforms on. They had a red patch, amen, symbolic symbol of uh, not socialism and communism. And you need to understand that they're putting together a one world military policeman. And they're going to come knocking on your door. And I have made that very clear. Another thing is that I have said that in this rebalancing act of God, God basically reminds you of 96 hours. It's loaded in pack. There are three divine principles in place. The renewal, the divine alignment, the chips in place, and the climax of the sequence is even getting better. And it's getting higher and higher because we're reaching a thing called the climax. The climax of what? The climax of the collapse? Well, the coming dispensation and the gathering of the saints and the graves popping open and then the church and the saints and the bride and believers far going up, going up to meet the Lord in the cloud in a thing called the rapture. Another thing that I want to speak to you is concerning world banks and world powers. For anyone to trust any government, for anyone to trust any leader, for anyone to put your trust in any given polit politician or in, and in politics, instead of trusting the living God, I'm going to simply say to you that not only you've, uh, you, not only you've uh, lost touch with what's going on, not only lost touch, but you practically don't understand the time and the season. And can I go ahead and say something to you? What the Lord just said now to me. Remember in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. But in 2023, it is the first time that God reminds us in 2023 of something that we decree and declare and release to you on catch and go in the year 2020. The year 2021, the year 2022, and the year 2023, when the Lord said the blue states in the red states divided into two, the sheep and the goats, the left and the right, the coming to the coming to seals, the great separation, the great conversion. But in this moment in which we're living in, 
that we're us seconds away from watching not only Wall Street completely collapse, the entire world going into what the Lord just said to me. Write this down. What's also coming is the power grid. What we're going to experience in 2023, and we have already, and we experienced some in 2023, 2022, excuse me, it's a thing called blackouts. Now, let me run down the PowerPoints again. But before I do, I want to talk about PowerPoint number, uh, one of my PowerPoints. And that is register in heaven. You want to make sure that you're not only, that your name is registered in the kingdom of heaven, but register in the sense that you have made the greatest confession ever. Because one of the things that I want to say to you is this, that in Luke chapter 10, verse 17, it says, Then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And remember several weeks ago, the Spirit of God said that all of civilization, that everything is subject to that one name, the name above all name, the name of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Then it says in verse 18 of Luke chapter 10, and he said, Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Then verse number 20 is the PowerPoint verse from Luke chapter 10. It says, nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirit is subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven in the Lamb's book of life, and in the book of remembrance. In this God's prophecy, February 23rd, 2023, the world economy collapsed. We are seconds away from seeing one of the most devastating and devastation times since the modern day thing called Earth, where we're beginning to see where nations will collide with nations. There is coming what the Lord said to me for the first time since 2020 and 2021 and in 2022. This is the first time in 2023 that the Lord voices its concern when it comes to this one, one area as well. And that is the Lord just said a global trade war and a biometric ship war, and a cyber warfare attack. You need to know that the grace of God is speaking concerning biometric chips. Now, at 11.45, at 11.45 a.m., the Lord said, be frugal for the coming crash. And then at 1.21 p.m., the Lord spoke. And at 2.45 the Lord also spoke concerning the title, the vision of the key, the bottomless pit. But at 1.21 p.m. also, the Lord went on to drop revelation from Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. The grace of God said, the pale horse. Now, in this part two, why are we doing a part two? Because I want to make sure that you understand that there is a collapse coming, there is the gathering, not only the gathering, but one of the things that I want you to understand, that there is a part seven to 96 hours, and the grace of God wants to make sure that you secure not only your assets, secure your, what, your wealth, but also understand that you need to act more, act with more urgency, have more urgency in your spirit, soul, mind, and heart. Sit down with your loved ones. Sit down with your wife. And you're going to have to decide pretty soon before this digital currency, before this collapse, when to take out majority of your assets and understand that everything is about to go into a whole different level in the world and in the nations and on the earth. Because the Lord said that it's going to go from dark days to grossly dark outside. Now, in this part two of February 23, 
2023 is God's prophecy. World economy collapse. I said, you need to understand when they talk about the bricks in the 10 kings, but you need to also under, understand those nations that you see that are affiliated and are connected to the Abraham Accord because there is coming a world peace treaty. And not only the Lord reminded us of that back in 2021, in 2022, but in the month of October of 2021, the Lord said, remember, in the month of October, the Lord said, you got chaos and confusion. And on January 1st of 2023, the Lord put the final shift in place, and there is going to be a rude awakening. There is a title that I'm going to do pretty soon, and it's called the year 2024. And what I want to say to you, that from now until that time, until what time? Because everything worked and God's timing, God's time, times and season. But in the timing of God, you got a window opportunity there from this day, okay? From March 12, 2023, which is today, I believe, March 12, until when we go into the year 2024. But here's a question mark. And here's a question that we should ask one, one another. And that all of civilization needs to know that God has got all of civilization on a time clock. And that clock is ticking and that clock is about to run out. And that is this, that from March 12, 2023, this, in this telecast, which we're doing part two of February 23, 2023, God's prophecy, world economy collapse from then until 2024. Is it possible, and I say that making no prediction, is it possible that the grace of God can snatch the church, the believers, the born-again believers, and the bride and the saints out of the earth? I am going to say to you that more than likely, it is possible that we could go in the fall of 2023. We are in the end, but remember, some would say we're not in there. Some would say that it's the beginning of the end. Now I'm going to say to you what the Lord recited and took out of his personal time to recite 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7 in part 1 of God's prophecy, February 23rd, 2023, when the Lord said, the end of all things is at hand. And today, the Lord said to me what he's been saying to me over and over. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then I want to say to you that on March 7, 2023, there is something so profound and so powerful that the grace of God spoke to me on March 7 of 2023. And I'm going to deliver that message to you pretty soon and you're going to be totally blown away because God has every intention. He's made up his mind. He's no longer going to relent. The Lord is not going to relent anymore. The Lord is going to wrap things up, but God wants you to understand that before you start to get excited and rejoice that the demons submit to your authority, the Lord said, rather rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Make sure that your sins are covered, your names are found in the last book of life, in the book of remembrance, but I want to close with this. One of the things that God said from the very beginning in part one of God's prophecy, February 23, 2023, the grace of God said, was at 11.45, be frugal, for the crash is coming. Not only that, but remember the second thing that he said. He said, make sure that you are what? Totally dead free. Now, I want to close with this. That the Lord had me write some things down. And I want to take my time because I felt that I really haven't quite, quite explained it's what God really 
wants me to explain to you, but from a deeper in a, a deeper place, but with substance and revelation. And basically, it's these areas. One, why not? Why not in the bank's hands, not in your home, and violence on the earth? And the level of desperation going into a whole different level on the earth. And that's because you need to understand what the Lord said about 15 or 20 minutes ago. The Lord said that I remind, reminded me to remind you that there was a title that we're going to do. And we have said over and over, what is your next door neighbor doing? Concerning not only what's your next door neighbor doing, who is your next door neighbor? And remember that in this telecast, about 15 minutes ago, I says that out of a survival mentality and out of, out of wanting to survive, more than likely, more than likely, those that do, will break into your home is not only your closest one, closest friends, closest relative, but it's not going to be so much just stranger, but it'll be people that shit dead smack in your living room. And there is coming a rude awakening. But also, let me explain very clearly why not in the bank's hands. I have said over and over that Janet Yellen She's part of the globalists. She's part of, of the left. She was the head of the Federal Reserve. And what you need to know here is that the world banks and banks are going to offer you this insurance uh, insurance policy, sort of like may, uh, saying to you that they will make sure that you understand that all of your assets and wealth is protected. But I have said it's a trump card. It's a snare and it's a trap by the globalists in the left. And all they want you to do is to continue to stay in a place of complacency, continue to compromise, continue to agree with them. And, not, and as you continue to agree with them, more than likely, you're going to agree on this one as well. But I have news for you that, er that everything that you have is either going to be wiped out or you're going to have total control of it. And you're going to have to make not only a power choice, and when I say come together with your wife and make that power choice, that you're going to begin to move things, not only take things out of your uh, bank. Now, in this, in this part two of uh, the world economy collapse, God's prophecy, February 23rd, 2023. I want you to understand that one of the things that the Lord spoke was concerning also idolatry and deception. Not only concerning idolatry and deception, but remember, I told you to circle PowerPoint number 10, but I told you to also circle PowerPoint number seven in part one of that title, World Economy Collapse. And that was the so-called revival. You know, can I just look into this camera? And can I simply say that there is no revival. There is just God's presence has descended in some of these universities. And God is basically restoring, restoring not only people's hearts and soul. But the Lord also setting the captives free. That's basically what the Lord is doing. And that you experience a new level and a new touch of God's power and God's glory. Now I want to close with this. Violence on the earth. You see that violence is picking up. You see that not only violence is picking up. Not only in your city, but in your neighborhood. In the outskirts of your neighborhood in the outskirts of your city, in places that you never thought that someone will break in or someone will get mugged or someone will get sort of like a beat down and not only things taking away at broad daylight and people rolling up in some vehicle and taking not only everything that you have and snatch, the Lord said to me, and snatching your gold, but you're going to have to realize that now we're going to go into a whole different time in the sense of time on the earth 
But the level of violence, the level of corruption, the level of idolatry, the level of deception, the level of not only corruption, but also manipulation. And not only manipulation, but things going to a whole different level. Because the Lord said, now it's going to get grossly dark outside. Now I close with this. In my closing, I just want to I just want to make this very clear that God is God's rebalancing act, how God has put all things in place. All the chips are where God wants them to be. All the chips have fallen in place and will fall in place. And what I mean by that, you're gonna see global events and sequence of events. Because the grace of God just popped the window open and showed me Revelation chapter 8. There was silence in heaven for 30 minutes. And then remember, the Lord opens up the seven seals. You got not only the start of the great tribulation here pretty soon. You got the collapse. You got the rapture. You got the ten kings. You got the Abraham Accord. You got every, not only the peace treaty that's coming, and the Lord just said to me, you ready? Write this down. First Thessalonians 5, 3. And then he said to me, suddenly, they talk about peace and peace, and suddenly destruction on the earth like never seen before. And I'm going to explain to you what the Lord has been showing me for years and for quite some time when it comes to, to the title, the year 2024. Now, remember, 11.45 a.m., remember 1.21 p.m., remember 2.45 p.m., but I'm going to speak to you what the Lord spoke to me on March 7, 2023. One of the most, most anticipated moment, not only one of the most anticipating moment, but in that anticipation moment, the grace of God wants you to know what he showed me just now. He said the word celebration. Glory to God. I wanted to come and share with you part two of God's prophecy. February 23rd, 2023. World economy collapsed. And you need to understand that the grace of God said these words. Write this down. He said you just need to put your trust on your rear guard in the umbrella, in not only the rear guard and umbrella, in the shade of your soul, but the Lord said, He is your refuge, your strength, and not only your strength and tower, but remember the word of the Lord says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and are safe. And I want to give you a PowerPoint that I said to you that more than likely, more, uh, more than likely, people will overlook, people will not pay attention uh, to this one PowerPoint. When I spoke concerning November 11, 2022, God's prophecy, and I spoke from Proverbs 4, 7, that I said, wisdom is proven right. Remember that one of the PowerPoints that I said to you, that more than likely, no one is going to pay any attention to. And I said, circle it, because that is one of the key points that will not only help us to, to understand that as we work together in the spirit of truth, in the spirit of unity, where you need to understand Acts 2.44, God has to unify bring the church together in the spirit of unity from Psalms 133, the church unified, but the church will be scattered. And I've already said to you from Acts 13, verse 42 or 43, the church broke and the church dispersed and the church scattered. But here's my PowerPoint from those points that I gave you on November 11, 2022, God's prophecy, Proverbs 4, 7, where it talks about wisdom is proven, right? PowerPoint is this. Remember I said, embracing one another. You see, it's time to embrace one another. Not only embrace one another, not only across the globe, 
And when I mean across the globe, I'm talking about all of civilization. I'm not just talking about Christianity and believers and bride, the bride and the church and the believers and the saints. I'm talking about all of humanity understanding one thing. The time of the dispensation, the time of the collapse, the time in which they're going to put together a digital currency, currency, a new world order established. They're telling you to trust the bank. The bank telling you to trust them that they will make sure that your assets is protected and that they will give you back anything which is wiped out. And I have said that is a trump card which the globalist wants for you to be feed into your head and not only feed into your head, but you need to understand that the Lord said what? Do not compromise and give into that trap because it's a trap in a snare from the globalists, from world leaders, and from those in the left. Look, that I'm not saying that you need to take everything out. I'm not saying that, but you're going to have to take out majority of your wealth Begin to sell your stocks and shares, and not only stocks and shares, but bonds. But remember that the Lord said, you need to go to your bank or wherever you got what is called something in your safe deposit. And the Lord said, you're going to have to also take that out as well. I wanted to come and share with you part two of this title called God's Prophecy, February 23, 2023, World Economy Collapse. May the Lord so richly bless you. Remember to click like, share, subscribe, hit on the bell to receive our latest telecast, and I catch you on my next telecast of Catch and Go. God bless.